okay in this video tutorial we will learn about how to make a pwm waveform all from the arduino or you can say that a pulse width modulated waveform from the arduino so for it first of all you need to have one arduino you can select any arduino and I would also like to tell you that Proteus is not offering any built-in Arduino inside it. So you must have to download it from the outside that is from the Google or from any other source. There are about three to four libraries for Arduino. But for it, first of all, you need to go and search that how you can add Arduino library to the Proteus. So after you have done it then you must know that there are around 13 digital IOs or within the Arduinos that is the digital input output pins but all are not like uh, PWM based some are PWM and some are just simple digital pins so if you have some tilde sign on pen or on any pen of the Arduino it means that it is the PWM pen so here we are using the pin number 3 is our PWM waveform pen you also need to take one oscilloscope and attach it to the Arduino pin number 3. Now we will go to the code of the Arduino PWM and here you can see that LED pin is just a variable that is of integer type and we declared that 3 is stored inside this variable. So it means that LED underscore pin underscore 1 is just having the meaning that it is 3 and of which type integer type then in second line you can see here it is written white setup what is it it is a function that will execute just one time it runs for just one time then there is a built-in command of pin mode this command is actually used for designating are assigning the pin as input or output it, it it actually initializes the pin that is either it is it will be used for an input or output so here it declare LED pin underscore one as output means that pin number three as output then after it ends here it is written wired loop so here wired loop is a function that starts from this bracket and ends at this bracket but it runs continuously just like wide one and it never ends so here for int c is equal uh, here we are using two loops for int c is equal to zero means that first zero is stored inside the c then condition will check that either c is less than 255 and if condition is true because now it is zero then we will then this the second line after for loop will be executed that is on led underscore pen underscore one must be written with the zero and then one and then two three four up to the 254 but there must be a delay of 5 millisecond in between them so it is continuously writing the values on pin on pin number 3 and it is these are the positive values or, or you can say that it increases from 0 to 255 then the second for loop it runs for it, it starts from c is equal to 255 then condition will be checked that either c is greater than 0 
yes it is greater than 0 then we will minus we will just minus 1 from this 255 and then we will check that either c is greater than 0 then if condition is true then we will move to the next line that is analog right led underscore pen underscore 1 comma comma c then delay of 5 millisecond and then for up to 255 for 254 times it runs okay okay now now we are going to compile it hopefully you understand the the code so just copy this hex file link and paste it inside the proteus okay now now in on in arduino click ok and now we will run it and we got that we are getting a waveform sorry okay uh, on two volts and we will uh, reduce the time now you can see that we we got a pwm waveform that is actually an analog right signal and it is pulse width modulated like you can change the width of the pulse and information is being stored inside its width like uh, if less and more width are being differentiated and data is stored inside this differentiated waveform so hopefully you got the concept regarding the pwm and now you can make it at your own